Hello and welcome to part 2 of modeling multiple regression with OpenMX. In this video we will be modeling systems of equations. That is, we will be modeling multiple equations simultaneously using path modeling. Here is an example. This path model represents the system of multiple regressions at the top of this video. Note that we have paths from our predictors to our first outcome, y1 as well as paths from our predictors to our second outcome, y2. Our outcomes also have unique error variances as they are from separate equations in our system. In path analysis, we can also model a two-headed arrow between the outcomes. Unlike the two-headed arrows about the predictors, which model covariance between variables, this two-headed arrow is modeling covariance between the error terms of these two outcomes. Ideally, this value would be zero, but we do not want to assume anything and can test this later. We also model the means of our predictors as well as a separate intercept term for each of our outcomes. I have omitted this part in the diagram for legibility reasons, but in OpenMX we will model these as well. Let's get started. First, we load OpenMX. Next, we load and inspect our variables. These variables were generated by this system of equations. We then name our manifest variables. Now we are ready to make our model. The difference between this model and the model in part 1 of this video is that we now have a path from our predictors to our second outcome variable, y2. We have to also model the error variance about y2 as well as the covariance between the errors of y1 and y2. We also need to model the intercept term for this new outcome. Let's run this model. Looking at the output, it appears OpenMX did a good job at recovering the parameters of our system of equations. It also appears that the error covariance between our outcomes is pretty small. Let's test to see if setting this value to zero would negatively impact our model. First, let's update our original model so that the error covariance between y1 and y2 is zero. This is the same as removing the path entirely from our model. Now let's do a likelihood ratio test to see if fixing this value to zero that is, removing it entirely from our model, negatively impacts our model. Looking at both AIC and p-value, we can see that removing this path from our model did not negatively impact our model. Thus, for further analysis, we might want to use the second model as opposed to our original model, as the second model has more degrees of freedom to work with. Thanks for watching.